hitch a ride with you guys? Sure, why not? Where are you going? To the next village, just down the road. Well, okay then. Hop in. Thanks. Medical kid. One of them must be a doctor. Hmm? With Ming Lung pursuing them, they cannot last long in the woods. And we need a doctor badly. I want the doctor alive. Find him! <laughs>
soldiers have escaped, I'm afraid. I don't want any excuses. I want them captured, and I want them alive. Understand? Yes, sir. I don't trust him. I'll do my job. Mm -hmm. Move out. nasty wound from that punji stick. You'll need this extra support. You're lucky it's not broken. Tell me, who are you? And what are you doing here? My name is Jason. Robert Jason. I'm the son of an American Marine and a patriot. My name's Avilas. I'm a soldier. Hmm. My name's John. I'm a freedom fighter. If I had known that this was going to happen to us, I would not have come. You know, Louisa, life is like that. We think we know where we stand, but then things change. We've got to adapt. Captain, I only said that because I don't really trust the men that we're traveling with. But how did you come to be here? Uh, my mother and I came here in order to find my father. He was stationed here. Uh, but we found out he was captured. Your mother, where is she? She was killed in an attack when our barracks were shelled by the Viet Cong. Uh, oh, uh, 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 oh, why were you in Nha Trang? I was told that my father was still alive. And that's why I'm taking this chance.
listen, someone's coming. Come, let's not. I'll go in there. too much. Louisa. Yes, Captain? Loosen the bandage and remove the stick. Go on. Captain, I want you to know that we are not soldiers. What do you mean? We're not with the engineering group, as we led you to believe. Then why did you lie to me? We're mercenaries. Mercenaries? We were paid to rescue an American officer and his whole squad. The Viet Cong are holding them prisoner. What's the name of the officer you're looking for? Captain Brooks. James Brooks. We just learned that this Captain Brooks we're looking for is pretty sick. That's why we needed a doctor. He'll need immediate medical attention as soon as we find him, as well as when we're transporting him out of there. How did you get into Vietnam? We smuggled in on a fishing boat. We had some American soldier friends who helped us out. How else could we get in? Where are the Viet Cong keeping Captain Brooks anyhow? We've been told. But they're in prison in the mountains near Bingwa. And we're pretty sure that the Captain Brooks we're looking for is with your father. Hey, but aren't mercenaries. For hire? Born killers? Yeah, I was an underworld character. But I reformed. And it's no wonder that I became a mercenary. I've got debts to pay. I broke into a house. The money I stole was to be used for a sick child. But then the child died. And I'd spent the money. So then I began to feel guilty. And it was the mother of none other than Captain Brooks, who's paying me enough money to make restitution. Captain Brooks' mother is paying you? And she used her connections with an American officer. And that's how we came to be here. Why did you become a mercenary? I was in need too, for my wife's cancer. Needed an operation. One that cost a whole lot. 
Same as Avili's. That's why I'm here. And how was your wife doing before you came here? She died. What's that? Your daughter is out of danger. Oh, thank you. We applied medicinal herbs and leaves to relieve the pain. Mister, is it possible for us to stay here? Mister. It's as if he hates us for us helping his daughter. Maybe he can't speak English. I'm pretty sure that the man of this house doesn't want us to be here. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, I don't trust this place. Stay here for a while. But you're soldiers! And friends of the American soldiers! Yes, we are. But we're here on a good mission. We are friends. You are not! Please believe us. We're telling you the truth. Leave! Leave! Look, your daughter brought us here. She was bitten by a snake. Then... Leave! Leave! Mm -hmm. Or I'll blow your brains out! Go! Lo! 
Look, we saved your daughter's life. Now, isn't that proof that we're your friends? Seen any foreign soldiers no. Around? no. You sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. All clear inside. How Bing? You've been working too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we take a rest here? In your place? Yeah, sure. 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 And your Beautiful daughter, Sing Siu. Is she here? Yes, yes, she's inside. Hmm. Is Sing Siu sick? What happened? She was bitten by a snake. How is she? She's all right. Hmm. That's good. Handoy, be sure to take care of Sing Sui for me, okay? Mm. Okay. Mm. This house searched. Inside and outside. We've got him now. Spread out. 
Spread out, come on. Over here, come I know you two. You are the despicable mercenaries sent here to save the life of Captain Brooks. Captain Brooks must be quite important. Imagine risking your lives for money, of course. But surely you can see the captain you are looking for is there behind you. It's a pity. You're too late to save him and his squad. Anyway, I have a very special surprise for you tonight. You see, I like to give a surprise to my enemies. I also have special games for them to play. And as for you two, I know you're medics, and you will be a great help to my camp. And for that, you're going to be given special privileges. Now, take them into the cage. Put them in position. Come on. Come on. Tie the others. I'm glad you're fine now. But I have orders to take you to camp, where you'll serve our soldiers. But why? Me and Dem found out that you've been hiding the enemy. They're not our enemies. They're our friends. Oh. I see you've been influenced by those bastards. Hmm. But that doesn't matter. You'll be serving me anyway, as my future wife. Hmm. Ming Lung is the only man for me, not you. Hmm. We'll see. Take her. Come on, move it. Hobie, you've betrayed our people. You are a traitor. No, I'm not. You are a traitor. And for that, take him away. Oh, please. Take them away. What are you doing? I'm not a traitor. No. You're making a mistake. Oh. I'm not a traitor. No. Come on.
Now you people will witness one of my surprises. The most generous way I have learned to execute my enemies. Bring out the first group. I'm ready to die. No. I can't. Oh, go ahead. Come on, start. Go on. Come on. Good luck, my friend. Uh -huh. put a bullet through your head. But no. I'm someone with a peculiar character. I want to get hurt. Well, I'll hurt you, you bastard! I will! Hurt turns to anger. And anger turns to hatred. And when that hate comes, you'll be lucky if you can stop to pay. What will happen to us now, sir? No one knows what they're thinking. They have no souls. It's plain to see. They kill with no mercy. It won't be long. Until it's our turn to die a terrible death.
What are you thinking, Fernando? Captain Gonzalez. Yes? I want to thank you two for saving the life of my fiance, Sing Su. As we have said before, we came here as friends, not as your enemies. At least you're different from your friends. The Americans. We don't get you. American soldiers massacred our village, Binghua, and mercilessly killed my family. The Binghua massacre? How sure are you the American soldiers are the ones responsible for that unholy act? Min Diem and Lin Jing, they told me. They're my family's killers. I was in school then. I was a good nationalist. After they murdered my loved ones, they drove me to join the communists. So that's the reason why you hated us and the Americans. Why not open your eyes and see for yourself who is cruel? <laughs> right now, oh, yeah. Come on. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be the next one. We've got to do something to escape right away. It's better to fight whether we escape or not. I agree with you. They're preparing to kill us anyway. You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing. We can't leave any of our friends behind. <sighs> All right, we better do it any way we can. But we better do it soon. Mm. My trust in Ming Dem and his friend Lin Jing is dying. The way they fight and kill is against my principles. Aviles, whichever one of us makes it back home, just promise to help the family of the other one. I know you're still mad at me, because I killed your parents. But I had no other choice but to do it. You see, hiding the enemy is a crime against our cause. I see Min Long is still in your heart. He's a gentleman, and a good soldier, not like you. Oh? Min Long is only my man. I can easily kill him if I want to. Kill him, and I'll kill myself. You know I won't let that happen. I like you very much. You're a very beautiful woman, Sing Su. Very pretty. Marry me, and I promise to give you everything you want. I'm gonna make you very happy. Next time you touch her, I will kill you, Lim Jing. This is treason! And you're gonna pay dearly with your life. I'm not through with you yet. Ming Long! 
I'm afraid. Lim Jing might kill you. I'll kill him first, before he kills us. Well now, boy. The time has come when you've tested my patience to the limit. You've had your fun. Now it's my turn to have mine. Let's see how strong you are against the four American bastards. Line yourself behind them. And I'll see to it that you will get your share. Move it. Come on. Move, you bastards. Move. Sit. Move. I said move. Move it. to knock before you enter one's room? Good morning. I brought you some food to eat. I'm not hungry. I prepared this for you. You must eat or you might get sick. I said I'm not hungry. <laughs> come, come, little angel. When Mian Jian tells you what to do, you must do what Mian Jian tells you. Because I like you. <laughs> I see nothing in a madman like you. Yes, I'm mad. Because I'm crazy about you. If you'll be nice to me, then I'll be nice to you. And I'll make you queen here. Whenever I like a woman, she never gets away from me. Let me go! Ah, ah bitch! Stop it, you little chicken! Bastard, why did you try me?
I can see you're scared. I don't scare that easily. You. You and your friends should be the ones who are scared. The time is running out for all of you. Mandem. I have a proposition to make. You need me. I can take care of your sick and wounded men. Without me, you're helpless. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I want to make a deal with you. Set my comrades free. And I will remain to serve in your camp, for as long as you want me to. I don't need you that bad. In fact, you're only important for the time being. I need all of you as my prisoners. Not one, not two, all of you. You're a hard man, Mandiam. But I know you have feelings too. Just like you. My friends have families and loved ones back home. Waiting for them to return. I'm sure... You're prisoners of war. My prisoners. You see, I pictured this camp as my kingdom. With me as its ruler. As long as I have all of you here, I'll rule this kingdom. Don't be too sure. Just one attack from up there. This kingdom of yours will be reduced to ashes in seconds. No, you're wrong. This camp is well hidden by dense trees. It cannot be detected, even from above. Then, you won't agree to my proposition. You want your friends to be out of your sight? Don't worry. Tomorrow, two of your friends will be gone. Forever. Let me see how good you are in this game of death. You can call your god, if you have one, because you're all gonna die. You'll be next, my friend. Are you ready? But don't worry, your dead body won't be wasted. I'm sure the crocodiles will feast on it. Sit down. <clears throat> Sit down! <clears throat> I'm here to live, not to die. For you see, my life is not over yet. You're facing the best arm wrestler in this camp. If you're lucky, you might beat him. But if you're not, then you'll be his tenth victim.
hold it now. Untie him. For the captives in this place, this camp is hell. <laughs> move! Move it. Come on. Come on, move! Untie him. Yes, you know, sir. Before dark, you'll be next. Cost us so much trouble. You wanted to be a hero. Well, let's see how good you mercenaries are. We mercenaries only fight for a cause and not for pleasure. Shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. You poison the mind of Ming Lung to hate the American soldiers. But the truth is, you and your men massacred the village of Bing Hua. Shut your mouth! I'll kill you! Sit down! The only truth I know is that you and your friends are gonna kill each other. Why don't you just kill us? Shoot us! I will save you from a lot of trouble. Just like that? <laughs> I'm not that stupid. You know, I have the habit of playing games with my enemies. Stop the joke. <laughs> care of myself. Get away, I said. Take that away. But we can't just leave here without taking the others. Escape now. Move. I know to be killed for sure. Unless we all go back. But if we do go back there, we can't go now. The best time will be tomorrow, before first light. Good plan. I want them all dead, before sunrise.
You should see them kill each other out there. Come, let's watch. <laughs> Stop laughing, Lim Jing. You forget. Two more of those mercenaries are still on the loose. I want their heads. They freed our prisoners. What? Look for them. Come on, spread out. Go. I want you to gather all our men at the camp. They cannot escape. The only way out is through the swamp. They can't go far until they break at least. I want you to get them at all costs. Right. Which way? This way. Quick. Hurry up. Quick. Hold it, wait. It won't do us any good to keep running around here. Bobby, you stay here.
Come on, let's go. You have to leave him. No. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Come on. Come on, let's go. Quick. The enemy's coming. Ah! Uh. 